Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, another question from our viewer and it is about using old outdated software. That is a common thing in Windows. Why? Because we have these games or these programs or these apps that have been made a long time ago. We fell in love with and now today we get to a point where we're thinking um, you know, I'd like to have that. And of course, people will tend to try to install some of them um, in the operating system. So what happens is that, for example, I've got one here, 3D Ultra Pinball Trail Ride, which is a pinball I always loved. And that dates from, you know, early 2000. Um, <clears throat> Windows, by nature, is made to be backwards compatible with... A lot of old apps and actually if you go and right click an executable you will have and you still have even in Windows 11 the compatibility mode available on the executable of that program and that is of course to try to have some of your older apps working and it doesn't work on everything there are apps because of the technologies they use at the time that just don't work today for example any apps that uses QuickTime QuickTime is an old um, you know, Apple product that doesn't exist anymore and doesn't install on modern PCs. So the apps that use that are by default broken and so on. Um, and, you know, apps that use Flash, for example, will be uh, apps that won't work today because Flash cannot be installed in Windows. So what happens is <clears throat> for the ones that are broken, that's done. You have to move on. But for the ones that do work, and the question is, does is is there something bad in using an old app is there a reason to try not to use old apps and so what is and what are the dangers of using old apps well that's the thing first of all remember that old apps will add some um s some um programs and add some um features that windows was not meant to have in later years so sometimes you'll have you know files like dll files things like that that weren't really meant to be used in modern windows so installing an old app does increase the chance of your windows operating system of crashing that's one thing you need to know so installing multiple old apps the more you add the more the chances of crashes everywhere and often people blame windows for the crashes once again i'll tell you as a tech guy 99 percent of windows crashes are because of bad drivers or bad apps it has nothing to do with windows itself that's why i always say just keep your computer to a minimum and older apps is particularly true because all of these files might actually be incompatible at some point or Windows might actually crash because of something it encounters in one of these apps. Remember also that the permissions of apps today are much more strict than older apps that just installed everywhere on the hard drive. But the biggest risk, <coughs> I would say, is in security. Uh, depending on what type of app it is, if the app requires a dust connect to the internet in some way, that is a big problem because it might have tons of security flaws that never will be fixed. And that's because, you know, at some point, all software get abandoned. Uh, we call that abandonware. And the abandoned software, well, yeah, it might actually be a risk for viruses or malware at some point. And that's something to be wary of. That's why you should probably run these apps in sandbox mode in the sandbox mode whatever happens you just shut down the sandbox and it actually will work and be okay again also one of the things that i would probably tell people is if you do really want to have a you know an older version of apps and and at the same time maybe an older version of windows well, use, you know, the virtual box or virtualized environments that lets you just make sure that you are in a closed environment and that whatever happens in there cannot actually infect the rest of the PC. 
So that is something to think about. But security is probably the biggest risk of using, using old hardware, or software, sorry, that has not been updated in such a long time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.